one of the most difficult things for new users to wrap their head around when getting started with the quad stick is how the different game profiles work. So the quad stick contains both large profiles shown by these files right here on the quad stick manager program and smaller profiles that the user can switch between within these large game profiles. And depending on which large profile and small profile you're in, it will change which controls on the quad stick correspond to the different controls in the game. So for example, if I wanna see within my default profile here, what controls activate which controls in the game, I can double click on it and this will open a spreadsheet like this. And in the blue column, it will show the different controls on the quad stick and the yellow column will show which control is activated in the game when I activate that specific control on the quad stick. So as you can see here, left, right, up, and down on the joystick, control left, right, up, and down on the left joystick in the game. So as you've noticed at the bottom here though, there's multiple tabs that are actually available within my default profile. So based off of which tab I'm in, it'll actually change which controls on the quad stick correspond to the different controls in the game. So as you saw in my PS3 left tab, the left, right, up, and down on the joystick controlled the left joystick in the game. But when I go to my PS3 right tab, the left, right, up, and down on the joystick controls the right joystick in the game. So depending on which small profile I'm in within my large default profile, it'll actually change the controls on the quad stick corresponding to the different controls in the game. When your quad stick initially boots up, it'll always boot up in the default profile, which is the first profile listed in the quad stick manager program. Therefore, in order to get to the later profiles listed in the quad stick manager program, you'll need to use the side tube to switch between your large profiles. And I'm gonna show a video of this a little bit later on how to switch between large profiles on the quad stick. When you initially enter into one of your large profiles or you switch into a large profile, you will be entered in to the specific spreadsheet for those controls. The initial controls that are assigned to the quad stick will always correspond to the first page listed on that specific spreadsheet for that profile. So if I'm entering into my Call of Duty profile, it'll be the PS3 left tab that it enters because that's the first one listed within this profile. In order to access the separate pages which assign different controls to different inputs on the quad stick, I will also use the side tube on the quad stick to switch between these. And in the next video, I will show how to use the side tube to switch between both large profiles on the quad stick and these smaller profiles that are present within these larger profiles on the quad stick or these different pages in the spreadsheet. In order to switch between your large game profiles on your quad stick, which are the game files listed within the far left side of your quad stick manager program, you're going to use the side tube, which is the furthest right sip and puff on the quad stick. So you're going to sip until you hear a boing noise on your quad stick and the purple light on the quad stick starts to rapidly flash. So I did a long hard sip and I heard a boing noise and now the purple light is flashing rapidly. The location that the purple light is flashing corresponds to which large profile your quad stick is currently on. So if I move the joystick once to the right, it'll move me over to the next large game profile. And if I move it over to the right again, it'll move me to the next large game profile on my quad stick. If I want to enter this large game profile, then I will hit the lip switch or do a center blow on the quad stick. Now I'm entered inside of my large game profile on the quad stick. Now, within this large game profile, there are smaller profiles I can switch between to change the controls that are available on the quad stick for this specific game. When I switch between my large profiles and I hit the lip switch, the purple white went back to the first location on the quad stick. So now that I'm entered into my large game profile, the purple light corresponds to the small profile that I'm on in the quad stick. So that would be the tab at the bottom of my Google sheet that I'm currently on in my large game profile.
to switch between the different Google Sheet pages or small profiles, I will do a short sip or a short puff on the side tube of the quad stick. A short sip will move me to the right once. As you can see, the purple light moved to the second location. So now I'm on the second page of my large game profile. And if I do another sip, it'll move me to the right again. So now I'm on my third small profile within my large game profile. If I do a blow, it'll move me to the left. So now it'll move me back to my first small profile or my first page of my Google spreadsheet. So that's how you switch between your small profiles within your quad stick. Once again, to switch between your large game profiles, which is the profiles listed within your quad stick manager program on the left side, you do a long hard sip. And since we entered into the third large game profile previously, the purple light is flashing on the third location of the quad stick. And if I want to move back to the first large game profile, I'll move the joystick left twice and I'll hit the lip switch. And that'll enter me into the first large game profile or the default profile on my quad stick. And then to switch between the small profiles within my default profile on my quad stick, I will do a quick sip or quick blow on the side tube and that'll switch the location of the light on the quad stick corresponding to the page that I'm on on my Google Sheet within that large game profile. I know that switching between profiles can be confusing, but understanding how to switch between different profiles on the quad stick will maximize the number of controls and games you can play using the quad stick.